Hello friends! And on this video we will test two devices which are very very similar. Let's say they are cousins, but one device is wired and the second one is wireless. So the first device is Dremel 4000 and it's a very very popular one. And the second one is 8220. So the devices are really very very similar. The length of the first device is less than 23 centimeters and of the second device 23 centimeters. As to the weight 673 grams including the cable the length of which amounts to 2 meters and the wireless tool 451 without the battery and 622 including the battery. Firstly, let's disassemble the devices and compare them. So you can see the main differences of these two devices. Well, this board has only the potentiometer and this board is soldered to the main board. Here we have two boards. We have the transistors and this is speed change board. The motors naturally are different. Well, this is the cooling system and the cooling system of the DC motor is inside of it. Well, these buttons are the same and as soon as we turn the device on or the switch will block the button. The advantage of this system is that you can change the brushes. In the wireless system it's not possible. However, in order to change the brushes you should disassemble the device. It's not possible to unscrew these covers. As to the main data of the devices, here we have the minimum speed 5000 rotations per minute and here the maximum is 35000. The power is 175 watts. As to the wireless tool, the minimum speed is 5000 rotations per minute and the maximum is 30,000. The both devices are assembled in Mexico. We can turn both devices on the same way. And as soon as we turn them on, this mechanism is blocked. So we cannot damage the motor which rotates. Also we have the battery indicator on the wireless tool. Let's check the speeds. I prefer to turn this device off this way because in case I use the maximum speed and turn the device off, the device stops immediately. Maybe for some users it's the advantage of this device, but for me it's really a very great disadvantage. Because at that moment the motor is sparkling and it will definitely affect the brushes and the motor itself. So I'll show you. Once again. Anyway, it's better to do this way. Let's turn this device on.
so this device has no such problems. Let's compare the speeds with the help of the sound got from these devices. So the sound was the same and we have got the same sound in case of really 30,000 rotations per minute. But this device can provide more. Now let's compare the devices in their main job. Let's cut a piece of wood and a piece of metal. Here we have two nails, the diameter of which amounts to 4 mm, two cutting discs, with the same manufacturer and same diameter and on the both devices we will use the maximum speed of 30,000 rotations per minute. I'll try to apply the same force on both devices. Let's cut the rest of this nail and conduct the test once again. Of course, this device is more powerful. And here, let's check this nail. So, during the same time, we have cut simply of the half, no, no, more than the half of this nail. Now, let's cut the two pieces of wood. As you hear, in case of this accessory, we hear the noise with a lower pitch because this accessory represents a certain load to this device. Once again. In case of applying of the load, according to the manufacturer, we have rotation stabilization on the wired model. But according to the results, I can't say that the wireless tool is considerably weaker or it's not acceptable for the same tasks or even that there is no sense to compare these two devices. In case the wired device has 175 watts, the wireless one should have approximately 130 watts, which is, for example, the power of the Dremel 3000. Anyway, in case you have no power source as the mains power, the wireless tool can almost completely replace the wired one. The only thing you should provide is the additional battery, in case you plan to use the wireless tool within the long period of time. Maybe you have noticed that the battery was not completely inserted into the device. Because I use such batteries this way. And I've made this one specially for this review. And what is the reason of such using? Here is the reason. All these devices use the same battery type which ends with the same top. The only difference is simply you cannot use this one here and this one here. But the green Bosch and Dremel batteries are interchangeable.
and also GSB 10.8 or PS130 and GSR120 use the same battery type. Well, the only difference between the batteries for this drill driver and the Dremel is the capacity. So here we have 2 amp hours and this is the battery exactly of the PS130 and the Dremel capacity is 1.5 amp hours. But anyway, in case you work with this tool and don't hold it vertically, for example, this way. You can remove these cups or maybe caps and use any Bosch 12 volt lithium ion battery together with this device. Hope I tried to consider all the general issues in connection with these two devices. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.